okay, you've asked a question. We've downloaded the April the 1st update. Um, now, there's an, there's an April the 5th update out now. April the 1st was a full version. Um, under the control tab, uh, the biofeedback scan, the lower half of the screen seems to be missing. Um, how do I do a biofeedback scan? Hey, that's a really good question, Peggy. Let's answer it. I'll go back into, um, into share screen again. In this modern technology. Okay, let's have a look. What would cause that? Well, what's happened is this. Uh, I'll go into the... Um, if I, in the presets tab, have the advanced option deselected, you'll find that the number of tabs has decreased. If I go to the control tab, like how you did, Peggy, yeah, oops, there's nothing here. It's gone. There's no, no controls to the biofeedback. There's no controls, Peggy, because Spooky has dumbed down Spooky. I shouldn't use that word. It's made Spooky more usable for first-time users. And so there's not many options. There's not even any, any facility for changing parameters. But after a while, people get familiar with Spooky. They say, yeah, we'll do it. We'll go to the Advanced tab. And so they, they click Advanced. There's more options that come up here. And then you'll find that in the Control tab, all these things appear. So rather than being overwhelmed with all this information, in particular in the Settings tab, I mean, when you look there, uh, when, you, when my computer eventually looks there, and you see all the options that are available, it's very scary for first-time users. And they most probably haven't had a chance to absorb the information that's in the user's guide. And so they don't really need to know. All they need really to know is the presets. So they go to the presets tab, select the appropriate preset, and know how to run it. And so it's a way of making things simple for first-time users. And so if you select the advanced options, you'll find you've got the uh, parameters for the biofeedback coming up. 